Welcome back to our economics class. Okay, so related with the last class, there uh, was a confusion uh, related with the, what we can say, the homework, right? That's what. Okay, so the thing is so simple. We discussed about a cost that spending by firm or firms on long term production and short term production. I mean, long run production and short term production, clear or not? So, related with that, we discussed about. Uh, uh, what we can say that average cost, marginal cost, right? Okay, fixed variable cost, fixed average cost, short run marginal cost, and short run average cost. Short run uh, average cost. Okay, we're discussing about a uh, uh, short run production, short run production. Okay, so there are two, three graphical representation uh, representations are there that basically show as okay the connection between all these factors like a uh, uh, short run variable cost short run fixed cost okay next one short run marginal cost and uh, short run uh, average cost average cost okay so there are the graphs the basically that denotes or shows as that how that curves formed how that curves are formed clear or not okay Clear. The homework is that much only. Read those paragraphs clearly and find out the connection between these figures or data. Okay. Clear or not? Clear or not? The relation between the total cost and the average cost. Clear? Average fixed cost and average variable cost. Short run marginal cost and short run average cost. Just to find out the uh, relationship between these uh, digits, I mean these data. Okay, so related with this relation, I mean uh, these data, we are able to draw the graphs. We are able to draw the graphs. So we want to understand properly, understand properly the relationship. We already discussed a table that are representing all these things in a digital way. Okay, numbers are there, right? Yes or no? By observing the number, we are able to find out how it is increasing and how it is decreasing. Okay, so the homework is simple. You want to connect the table with the graph. Table with the graph. Okay, nothing to write or nothing to present. Okay, want to understand that topic properly by reading that uh, paragraphs. Clear or not? Okay, you can do that. Just read it. Again, any doubts persist or exist, you can ask me. I will explain that. That's what I told in the last class. Just read and understand. Read and understand. Too easy to understand that. How many of you read that? How many of you? How many of you read those paragraphs? Oh, it's only Aishwarya. She rose her hand. Others? Okay, so remember one thing. If you want to win a lottery, first of all, you have to purchase a lottery, right? Yes or no? What is that? If you want to win a lottery, what do you want to do first? Want to purchase it. Then we can dream about that, right? So, without purchasing a lottery, how can we dream about you are winning a lottery? Impossible. Impossible, right? So, this is the uh, thing what you have to remember there. Read the textbook properly, okay? And understand the things properly. Then only you, move, you can move forward to gain good marks, good marks, okay? So, try to take the lottery. Try to take it, okay? Then success will be with you, okay? So, just to read it properly. Okay, so the things what we studied in the last chapter, we discussed in the last chapter, applications of those things are there in the present chapter. And today, the information for you people, we are going to start a new chapter, the fourth one. Clear or not? Clear or not? Nothing but. Okay, so if you know all those things in the last chapter, what we discussed earlier, it is simple to understand. So all these chapters are uh, connected, connected. Okay, I'm unable to start the statistics now because if I'm starting statistics, uh, the connection, I mean, the link between these things will lose. Okay, you might forget that. That's what I am going to take this chapter continuously. Clear? I mean, chapters from microeconomics continuously. Okay, so you want to connect that. You want to connect that. So connect the present chapter with the earlier one. Earlier one. Number of applications are there for people. Okay, so just remember the people, those who are hiding, please come forward. Please turn on your cameras. Please turn on your cameras. Many are there. Karthik, Basil Bashir, Pavitra. I think that you are saving your data for downloading movies or playing games or something. I think of that, right? So sufficient data is there with you people to attend the class. Just turn on your cameras, please. Everyone. Hanna, ah, Hanna came. Pavitra, Aditya. Okay, if you are facing any serious issues related with the network, just uh, let me know that. Okay, so can we go for the next chapter? What is the name of the next chapter? The fourth one for we people. Firms under perfect competition. Firms under perfect competition. Correct? 
Femina? Is that affirmative? Yes. Firm sounded perfect competition. So what do you got? What is the meaning of the term firm here? What do you mean by firm? Firm. Anyone? Firm. A company. Yeah, of course. It's a company, a production unit, a production unit. Okay. So there are a number of basic things we have to understand that. Okay. So here we are not discussing about a, a company that owned and operated by government, owned and operated by government. So it's a private firms, private individuals, uh, they are the people they are running these firms there. Just keep that the idea in your mind, in your mind, right? So why these private people or private individuals are uh, starting production? Why they're producing the product? What's the main motto behind that? Uh, the basic things behind the production. What is that? Make profit. In order to earn profit. Yeah, definitely. So everyone remember, just to create profit or making profit, making a profit, profit motto. Okay. Their main aim, main aim is to increase profits. Clear or not? So if you want to, if they want, I mean, now all you people are producers. You are producing different products and selling in the market. So Femina, she shook her head. Okay, we are producers, right, Femina? We are producers, right? Yes. Okay, we are producers. We are producing different products uh, and we are selling that in the market uh, to make profit, to make a profit. So you are not going to do any service to the society, right? Just a profit, just a profit. That's what our main aim. We are private individuals. Okay, we want to improve our uh, assets. Okay, we want to sell the product. Uh, we want to purchase many things like uh, cars, uh, bungalows. Uh, okay, like that, many things we want to purchase. So always we want to think about it to increase the profit. Profit maximization. What is that? Profit maximization. Maximum profit. Okay, what can we do to improve the profit or improve the income from the production? What? One method we studied in the earlier chapter. Okay, production and cost. What is that? What method we will use to improve the profits? Reduce the cost of production. Definitely. We want to reduce the cost of production and a number of other techniques are there to sell our product in the market. Right? First of all, we can reduce the cost of production by using cheap labor, cheap land. Okay, like that various factors of productions are there. We know that there are five are there, right? Four plus one, four plus one, five factors of productions are there for, for easy understanding. We are uh, discussing only about, about uh, five factors of production. Okay, tell me Muhammad Irfan, what are they? What are the factors of production? What are the factors of production? So economics, whatever the chapter four we people, whatever we are going to discuss, uh, these things are connected with that. The factors of production, factors of uh, production. Tell me, Mohammed Irfan, what are the factors of production? Mohammed Irfan? Land. Oh, yes, correct. Labor. Land labor. Uh, uh, tell me, past. What is that? Uh, Availability of your raw materials. Yeah, raw material is there, but. That is coming under other head. So simply speaking, so how many are there? Four are there. Tell me what are they? Come on, Muhammad Irfan, you can do that. You are the one. All my faith on you. Make it fast. Make it fast. All of Anila is waiting to say that answer. Anila, tell me Anila. Land, labor, capital, organization, and technology. Definitely, these are the five, four plus one, land, labor, capital, organizer, and the technology, and the technology. Don't forget that, land, labor, capital, organizer, and the technology. We want four, uh, these four factors plus one to produce the product there. If any one of these uh, factor is missing, the production is not possible. Production is not uh, possible. Just to keep that in, in your mind, okay? All these four factors and technology is important to produce the product. Without these things, we are unable, we are unable to think about production. We want lab, labor to produce, right? Workers is necessary. Workers is uh, necessary. Physical input is necessary. Clear or not? I mean, uh, physical labor, that is necessary, right? Land is necessary or not? We want to start agricultural production, land is necessary or not? Can we cultivate anything without soil? Again, okay, biology, number of other methods are there like uh, acaphonic, okay? Aerophonic, like different methods are there. Anyway, land is compulsory. Land is a compulsory, right? So without land, it is impossible to produce any product. Land is necessary for we people. And what about labor? I already told you that physical input. I mean, physical labor is necessary. Okay, land, labor, capital. Without investment, are we able to produce? 
investment is necessary right or not you want to purchase land you want to give away wages for the workers that is necessary capital investment is a necessary land labor capital organizer what individual will be there or group of people will be there to control all this production activity clear or not they are called to be the organizers now we all we are people are organizers we are the owners of different companies clear or not okay we own individual companies independent companies okay clear yes okay we are the organizers so after paying the remuneration for uh, land labor and uh, you can say uh, what you can say raw material what we are using that coming under the capital okay we want to spend money for it right so regularly we want to purchase the raw material regularly we want to purchase the raw material okay for that also you have to pay you have to pay so for payment for the capital the balance is termed as profit or loss profit or loss that can utilized by we people right and we are we are able to utilize that that's our money the organizers money right huh we provided the, the amount that the deserving for the labor receiving for the land receiving for the capital everything is paid what left that's our, our money right that's the organizers money right we can utilize that which is profit means we are happy we are happy if it's a loss <laughs> we are not that happy right so always the individuals are trying to improve the profit creation or profit making profit making so trying to maximize the profit trying to maximize the profit okay so in this chapter we are studying about studying about uh, firms under perfect competition firms under perfect competition so there are some situations are there okay so basically we can say this imaginary situation for understanding we are using a model we are using a model okay that's imaginary situation so so far what are the things we learn and uh, that all models only that all are uh, models only okay clear or not so in the example in the sense to uh, study about the production we used only two inputs right actually there are uh, four four are there right but for easy understanding we used two for related with the cost also we used only two inputs for easy understanding easy understanding so we can easily say that uh, the examples what we discussed earlier and we are going to as discuss today also considering as some models some uh, models okay there is no connection with the reality basically for easy understanding easy understanding so today all you people are individual organizers okay you are owners of different companies different uh, companies okay so definitely competition will be there right why this competition and uh, for what this competition uh, competition tell me anyone control the market basically we have to sell the product in the market product in the market so that is our responsibility to control the market share market share right or not very good then market then then anything else come on first make profit definitely that's a main and important aspect right what is that uh, we wanted to improve we wanted to maximize the profit maximize the profit okay maximum profit we want to uh, create okay by selling our product uh, we want to enjoy the maximum profit maximum profit next next best quality okay so quality that related with the competition correct okay quality so pe people want to purchase our products the consumer want to purchase our product uh, we want to prepare a good quality product with the better quantity right quantity and quality qq both one right quantity and quality okay so quantity is high but quantity of the product is too less or it is not good means no one will purchase right or not the quality is too good but uh, the quality is very less no one will purchase again okay so both this qq matters qq matters what is that quantity and quality quantity and uh, quality right then then global then. acceptance definitely acceptance of our product people want to accept it people want to purchase the product there okay so what method we will use to uh, make people purchase or consumer purchase our product okay for example i am asking to anjusb anjusb now you are the producer of a particular product what method we will use to make people to purchase your products in the market product in the market tell me anjo it should be attractive the product should be attractive right so then price should be affordable affordable price very good answer then affordability right then quantity quantity and quality accepted then
one more thing it is what is that availability of your product in the market right you have to produce it and you want to send that product to the market in time on time right right or not okay all of the things are good but my uh, thing is not available in the market means it is impossible to uh, purchase the product right so that's the that's what the main points are related with the uh, uh, competition so always these firms are under competition okay all you people want to sell your product in more quantities more uh, quantities then only we are able to maximize the profit maximize the profit right or not if you are producing the product in more quantities uh, you are able to control the cost of production okay we people are able to control the cost of production yes or no yes or no okay both in the short run production or long run production we want to we have to control the cost of production by using different techniques different uh, techniques right clear or not so that's the main concept of uh, our chapter the theory of the firm under perfect competition perfect uh, competition so number of things are there connected with this basically termed as a uh, demand and supply demand and uh, supply right clear or not so demand supply price demand demand supply and price these are interconnected right or not so how can we prove that connection demand of the commodity increases what will happen to supply yes what will happen to supply basically if common sense is there means we can say that uh, the firms will control the supply right firms will control the supply or not why they want to control the supply then only the price will increase price will increase right yes or no yes or no is that correct or not so most of the firms will do this technique what is that uh, if demand for a commodity is increasing like the, anything uh, they will control the supply for why oh, for what they are controlling the supply then only the price of the commodity will increase in the market right yes or no so no sixth sense or seventh sense is needed to understand this okay everyone know that everyone know that right femina what is the doubt femina femina no doubt right is that clear that is clear right so always the firms will control the supply next situation okay the supply is high supply is high then what will happen to the demand and price a heavy supply of a product what will happen demand will increase or decrease tell me we studied that in the chapter what is that the chapter consumer behavior consumer behavior the supply of the product is increasing like anything what will happen there demand increases demand demand decrease right? decrease or increase tell me think and say supply availability is there in the market everywhere the same product is available so demand will decrease price will decrease right or not Yes or no? Okay. So doubt is there means that is connected with uh, different products. Okay. What are the different products for we people? Substitutes are there. Complementary goods are there. Right or not? Inferior goods are there. Okay. Related with all these different goods, uh, uh, the price and supply relation also different. Okay. So just to keep that in your mind. Okay. Then only you are able to understand this chapter. Is that clear? Any doubt? Miss Pavitra, Hanna, Elvina, Grishma, Muhammad Irfan. and basal bishit turn on the cameras please okay so come back in this chapter so in this previous chapter we studied a concept related to a firm production function and cost curves production function and cost curve the focus of this chapter is different here we ask how does a firm decide how much to produce okay so the question is okay uh, we already studied in the first chapter what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce okay all these questions are basically connected with the, the central problems of an economy right is or no okay what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce okay so the companies also or the firms also want to ask this question want to ask this question to themselves okay why they want to ask they have to maximize the profit maximize the profit we discussed the example there an example there what is that okay we started a soap factory in a in an african country remember okay what is that specialty what happened there you studied about the market and dearly okay but forgot to study about the character of the people in that locality character of the people in the locality right what we started there a soap manufacturing company so we came to know that the people in that locality don't have the habit to do bath bath right so what will happen to your company definitely are you able to sell the product 
are you able to sell the products no so we want to ask the question to ourselves what is that for whom to produce for whom to produce right clear or not so that's a simple example a silly example this for understanding at all this right clear or not so we want to ask the question to ourselves what is that what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce okay why you want to ask this question to ourselves because we want to maximize the profit we want to improve the profit we are we basically don't like to face a situation called a loss clear or not we don't want to waste our money we are the producers we are the producers hanna hanna yes, the idea clear yes. yes okay okay that's it so the structure of this chapter as follows we first set up and examine in detail the profit maximization problem of a firm so almost all the firms are facing this problem what is that uh, profit maximization profit maximization this done we derive a firm supply curve the supply curve shows the levels of output that a firm choose to produce so supply curve is related with a uh, the amount of the product that a firm choose to produce choose to produce so this is a planning this is a planning so basically in economics we will use a term x and x and e x a n t e x and x and a n t e x and so this concept means it's a plan for the future plan for the future how much want to produce in what quantities again okay, what quality everything we want to plan for the future all the individual producers want to plan for the future so it's a x and concept x and a concept okay so opposite of this another word is there's going to be exposed exposed so after an event after an event okay the plans okay or programs what we are following after an event that's going to be exposed exposed so x and and uh, exposed just keep that two words in your mind uh, so the supply curve shows the level of output that a firm choose to produce for different values uh, of the market price finally we study how to aggregate the supply curves for individual firms and obtain the market supply curve so we will study how to create this uh, market supply curve supply curve okay so here some particular situations are there we are going to create a model we are going to create a model for easy understanding easy understanding so that's what perfect competition perfect competition okay so there are a number of features are there we are using to define the perfect competition so perfect competition defining features defining a uh, features just underline all these areas uh, all these uh, lines there so it is important for we people in order to analyze a firm profit maximization problem we must first specify the market environment first we want to understand the market situation market situation okay number of things are included in that market situation environment in which the firm functions so market environment in which the firm functions okay the capacity of the people to purchase the product their characteristic features of uh, consuming the uh, products like their various factors are there we want to understand and we want to observe that clearly then only we are able to start the production in this chapter we study a market environment uh, called perfect competition so here in this chapter we are discussing about a market condition basically termed as perfect competition perfect competition is there between the firms okay between the firms okay a perfect competitive market has two defining features first of all the market consists of buyers and sellers that is firms all firms in the market produce a certain here the word is important homogeneous homogeneous products okay so we are unable to differentiate the good of uh, one firm from the other from from the sorry one firm from the other okay so first situation is uh, the market consists of uh, buyers and sellers all firms in the market produce a certain homogeneous product homogeneous uh, product the same product all the firms are producing the same product uh, and in the market a number of buyers are there number of uh, buyers are there here sellers means the firms sellers means uh, the firms okay buyers means the individual uh, consumers also we can uh, uh, take as a buyer okay next one each buyer and seller in the market is a price taker price taker always the people those who purchasing the product from the market they will uh, aware about the price right or not yes or no people are aware about the price remember one thing one day i told you people to find out the market values of uh, different goods remembering that yes or no ah the question is there for you amal raj tell me tell me amal raj you find all those values 
cost for different uh, items or price for different items find it out or not tell me amal yes or no okay so listen carefully if you are not fine so we can say that you are not aware about the market price market price so before purchasing a product we want to understand okay the existing price of the commodities in the market okay then we will try to purchase the product less than the market price less than the market price is that possible is that possible tell me is that possible or not if you know that the price of 1 kilogram of 1 kilogram of apple it is 100 rupees 140 rupees 140 is 140 rupees okay so always you will purchase the product for 140 rupees or you will try to reduce the price by negotiation right or bargaining yes or no or you will pay 150 rupees to purchase 1 kilogram of apple yes or no tell me now tell me now what no. use okay basically if you will pay the same price the prevailing price or the existing price prevailing price or the existing price for the products clear yes or no any others are there those who making another uh, do so have another idea or paying more than that price of the product is 140 and you will pay 200 rupees and purchase that anybody is there like that anybody is there or give you uh, to and their money to the uh, vendor or the shopkeeper anyone will do like that no nobody will do that if you doing so okay we are unable to explain that there is no ways for them in economics okay you can do that okay definitely okay so in common sense we will not we are using common sense we will not do that we will try to purchase that for the existing price that called the prevailing price prevailing price okay the price that basically uh, existing in the market okay yes or else what we will do what we will do will bargain start bargaining with the vendor right start bargaining with the seller right or not okay i will give you 100 rupees or you give me 200 uh, sorry 2 kg of uh, apple i will pay you 200 rupees like that uh, different methods are there for bargaining right so always all the consumers are price takers clear they are try to always they will try to purchase the product for the existing price uh, or else they will bargain for a uh, reduce the price reduce the price clear clear or not okay any difficulty to understand this so listen in the future you people want to own different companies you might be become turn to become ceos of uh, maybe google maybe facebook uh, maybe whatsapp like different companies there right that time want to remember me sir taught me this techniques right so that's what i telling you people okay just to use your comments nothing uh, what serious i think serious right i think serious here okay so remember remember okay so perfect competition so market can consist of buyers and sellers we know that so without buyers and sellers there is no market there is no market each buyer and seller in the market is a price taker always uh, uh, sellers will uh, try to increase the prices and the buyers what they will do they will try to decrease the prices decrease the prices so we can say that they are price takers they are a price taker so sellers always selling the uh, product to increase or maximize the profit maximize the profit buyers want to save their money buyers want to save their money so they try to uh, purchase the product for a cheap prices since the first feature of the perfect competitive market is easy to understand we focus on the second feature from the view point of a firm okay price taking price taking this situation is a situation okay uh view point of firm what does price taking entail a price taking firm believes that that should it set a price above the market price it will be unable to sell any quantity of the good that it produces on the other hand should the set price be less than the equal to the market price the firm can sell as many units of the good as it want to sell so related with the, the seller we are going to discuss or the price taking capacity okay that entails basically always the firms are trying to sell the product uh, more than the existing market price so one question is there any consumer will purchase that anyone will purchase that anyone will purchase that so there are two shops in your locality okay both shops are selling chicken one shop uh, they are selling 1 kg of for 130 rupees 130 rupees the next shop is selling that for 110 rupees so you will choose the shop they are selling the chicken for 110 rupees right or not yes or no 
the simple logic simple logic so no sellers are able to sell the product more than the existing market play, market price market price because no consumer will purchase that no consumer will purchase that okay then if the seller is reducing the price than the market price what will happen what will happen there they are able to sell more units right in case of the second chicken stall they are able to sell more products because existing market price is 120 one per shop is selling that for 130 and the shop selling that for uh, 110 rupees 110 rupees okay so the consumer basically will choose the second shop uh, where they are able to purchase the product uh, less than the existing price or less than the prevailing price yes or no yes or no so that shop can sell more quantity of the product more quantity of the products more quantity of the product here come the next question okay if uh, the firm is selling the product for uh, uh, for less than the market price how can they increase or how can they maximize their profit can anyone tell me can anyone tell me how can huh? more quantity would be sold ah, okay more quantity okay maybe uh, they, that will solve the problem okay so logic okay fine i got that next one next any other ideas are there they have to compromise in the quality can they are they able to uh, what uh, use uh, cheap technique to produce the product to reduce the cost of production yes that also uh, that one reason also is there that one technique also is there they can adopt that one too okay that's one a buyer would obviously like to buy the good at the lowest possible price here last paragraph of oh, my last sentence for people a buyer always Okay, like to buy the good at a lowest possible price. However, a price taking buyer believes that should she ask for a price below the market price, no firm will be or will be willing to sell to her. Okay, so if any particular individual customer is asking for uh, asking the particular product for less than the existing market price, uh, the firm will sell it or not. If you are the seller, will you sell it or not? Will you? so the cost of production of one good it is 100 rupees cost of production of one particular good is a 100 rupees just imagine cost of production of one unit of the product it is 100 it is a 100 a buyer or a consumer ask you to sell that for 80 rupees 80 rupees tell me anjo sibi what will you do anjo anjo What are you doing there, Anjo? Sir. Ah, tell me. Hmm. Ah, use your brain. Sixth, seventh, eighth senses are the same. Or to use that now. Simple common sense enough to understand this, right? Amal Raj, tell me what will you do there? What will you do, Amal? Sir, I will not sell. You will not sell that. Why? Sir, profit will be not. Ah, there is no profit, right? So simple answer, Amal. And just be please concentrate, Anjo. Okay, so Amal Raj will not sell that because he know that if he sell for eighty rupees, there is no profit for that. Anyway, he want to face the loss also, so he will not do that. On the other hand, should the price ask to be greater than or equal to the market price, the buyer can obtain as many units of the goods uh, as she deserves to buy. Okay, so for demand for that good is too high in the market, uh, too high in the market. we can do a technique what is that if you want to purchase a product we can offer more price we can offer more price clear or not for demand for the product is high supply is less price of the commodity is high that time we can offer more price to purchase that particular product right yes or no we can offer because we want to use that particular product we want to use that okay we badly need that that time we can offer high prices high prices than the existing market price right yes or no If demand is too high and the price of the commodity also too high that time we can offer high price uh, if you want to use that product we badly need that product that time we can uh, offer high prices than the existing price high prices than the existing price right or else or else we will not do that so this is basically basically connected as a bidding what is that bidding okay what is bidding bidding auction auction So real price for one commodity is a hundred rupees. Real price for the commodity is a hundred rupees. Number of people badly deserve that. So the producers will use a technique. What is that? Bidding, bidding. Okay. What is that bidding? So who offer the highest price? The consumer or the producer can sell that product for him. 
clear or not so there's a recent bidding that related with a particular uh, product brand i mean a particular brand uh, vehicle so mahindra thar mahindra thar okay so mahindra company is a, a new model or new variety uh, car it is i mean a, a jeep uh, concept model it is actually okay so uh, mahindra thar the real cost of the product is nearly 15 lakh rupees 15 uh, lakh rupees right so mahindra for forward a program already that uh, bidding for that auction for that okay so extra money they will donate it to the welfare of the covid patients or uh, they will donate to the covid uh, treatment uh, or first line treatment units clear or not so bidding started okay finally the first unit of that particular car they sold in the market for a uh, 1 crore and uh, 19 lakh rupees 1 crore and uh, 19 lakh rupees clear or not so it's called to be bidding okay so demand for the first car is too high so the first car of that particular company okay what is that the jeep ah, sorry the mahindra thar mahindra thar right so there is a competitive spirit between the buyers to purchase the first unit first unit okay for the movies we will we will go that boys know that much okay first day first show first day first show okay they will do ah femina is laughing this so femina is going for that i think so femina is that correct no okay so they will struggle to get the ticket first okay so they will do anything what they are they want they can do to get that ticket there so that's what bidding or auction bidding or auction there okay in such kind of situations we can offer a high prices or else it is not it is not a possible and we will not do that we will not uh, do that okay since this chapter deals exclusively uh, with firms we prop no further into buyer behavior instead we identify conditions under which price taking is a reasonable assumption for firms price taking okay so price taking that condition we want to understand that no firms are ready to sell the product uh, product uh, less than the existing price in the market okay what is that no firm is ready to sell the product in the market uh, less than the existing price less than the existing price okay but one condition is there what is the condition the firms are ready to sell at the product less than the market price they are able to create more profit because they are able to sell more units they are able to sell more units is that clear is that clear okay next condition the consumer always ready to purchase always try to purchase uh, the product uh, less than the market price or equal to the market price clear they will try to purchase the product less than the market price or equal to the market price equal to the market price why it is so why it is so they don't want to waste their money no consumer is ready to waste their money right or not clear or not okay so this called with the price taking situations there right okay if it is just opposite of that definitely we know that uh, the seller will lose money or the consumer will lose his money or her money right if the situations are okay for you if these conditions are clear or not okay so this is the base of the chapter if you understood this act, uh, this points it is clear to understand the things that coming forward clear or coming here after clear okay guys i am uh, using this opportunity to remind you one thing what is that what is that what will be the project the project right complete that and read that uh, chapter regularly okay don't leave any page unturned read it regularly after completing the chapter it is your uh, all responsibility to read that read that okay ashish benny are you there ashish yes sir Yes, sir. Okay. Why the video is turned off? What happened? Any problem? Any security reasons are there? Is it is it category security, right? No. Should not reveal. Video is on. Huh? My video is on. Video is on, but I am unable to see that. I want to consult a consult an ophthalmologist because I am unable to see you. Okay, fine. I know. I don't know why it is so. Anyway, guys, bye. We will meet in next class. Read the textbook thoroughly. Fine. Have a nice day.